look from underneath the Christmas tree. Hello, Morgan County Scholars. I hope you guys have had an awesome break. I'm so glad that you joined us for our last night of read along because you're important, unique, and wonderfully made. And I hope that when you get back to the classroom, we can hear all about your adventures over the break. All right, let's get started. Big Bear, Little Bear. One bright, cold morning, Little Bear helped Mother Bear scoop snow out of their den. This will make more room for you to play, said Mother Bear. You're getting bigger now. I want to be as big as you when I'm grown up, said Little Bear. He stretched up his arms and made himself as big as he could. Mother Bear stretched to the sky. You'll have to eat and eat and eat to be as big as I am, she said. When I'm big, I'll wrestle you in the snow, said Little Bear. Wrestling in the snow was his favorite game. You're not big enough to wrestle me yet, said Mother Bear laughing. She rolled Little Bear over and over in the soft snow and Little Bear giggled. Little Bear shook the snow from his fur. When I'm grown up, I want to run as fast as you, Mommy, he said. You'll have to practice if you want to be as fast as I am, said Mother Bear. Little Bear darted away and ran as fast as he could. But his mother soon caught up with him. Run faster, she called. I can't, said Little Bear. I'm not grown up yet. I'll show you what it's like to be grown up, said Mother Bear. Climb onto my shoulders. When Little Bear stood on his mother's shoulders, he could see to the end of the world. And when he reached up his hands, he could nearly touch the sky. Now, you are big as Mother Bear. How cool is that? Let's run, cried Mother Bear, and she ran faster and faster. Little Bear felt the wind rushing against his face and blowing his ears back. This is how I'll run when I'm grown up, he shouted. Suddenly, Mother Bear leapt into the air. Little Bear saw the world rushing under him. I'm flying like a bird, he shouted. Then he saw where they were going to land. <gasps> Splash! Mother Bear dove into the cold water and swam along with Little Bear on her back. This is how you'll swim when you're grown up, she said. Little Bear watched his mother carefully so he would know what to do next time. I'll soon be able to swim like that, he told himself. Mother Bear climbed out of the water with Little Bear still clinging tightly to her back. Will I really be as big as you when I'm grown up, asked Little Bear. Yes, you will, said his mother, but I don't want you to grow up yet. Why not, asked Little Bear. You won't be able to sit on my shoulders when you're grown up, said Mother Bear, as she carried Little Bear back to their snow den. Little Bear was tired after wrestling, running, flying, and swimming. You can still cuddle me when I'm grown up, he said sleepily. But Mommy, he whispered, I don't want to grow up yet. That's good, said Mother Bear, holding him close, because you're perfect just the way you are. Little Bear snuggled into his mother's soft fur and they went to sleep together in their cozy den in the snow. The end. Perfect, just the way you are, just like each and every one of you guys. All right, boys and girls, I want you to go brush your teeth and get a really good night's sleep. Keep working on that physical and intellectual wellness and we will see you back at school really soon. And remember, Miss Nikki loves you just the way you are. Good night. I am a positive, a positive action kid. That's what I am. That's how I